Hello Libra. Welcome to your love reading Libra. Let's see what messages will show up for you. Libra, this is a love reading for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. Okay, let's see. What's going on? What's going on with whom we are connecting with for Libra? We have manifestation, unconditional love. Okay. And we have rebirth. Mask at the bottom of the deck. You manifesting here unconditional love, Libra. Big, big time. Rebirth. This is energy of the past. Something here wants to manifest. Someone here wants to manifest as well. We have a photograph. Mm -hmm. Someone is looking at your photos. Oh, what do we have? Excuse me. And we have sword and the rose. Phoenix. Okay. Let's put this. Someone feels very lonely, Libra. We have mask. We have Phoenix. Let's, let's take a look at those oracle cards for you. So we have a manifestation, we have unconditional love, we have rebirth, we have a mask. Phoenix, this is like a new phrase, transformation. Someone, it's, again, with rebirth, it, it, it feels like someone here, it's changing. They want to come across as a changed person, that they've changed the mindset, that things will be different. With rebirth, they want to resurrect something between the two of you. I don't know if you're aware of that, but you are manifesting this person, this person. I feel that there is a very strong connection between the two of you. It feels like unconditional love. This is someone here who is thinking about you. They're looking at your photographs, your pictures. They're looking at your photos. They are missing you. Uh, this is someone who wants to make new memories. So again, they do want to be given another chance, right? In order to make those new memories. We have a sword and a rose, which is a card of clarity, communication. Also, you are very protected here. Um, this person here, I'm getting very strongly that they will communicate and they will try to um, tell you some sort of truth they want to um, come across as an honest person I'm seeing what I'm seeing because we have this mask cut right at the bottom of the deck and but with the Phoenix I feel that at the time you this person was uh, has a tendency to holding back they were not fully transparent it might be a case that they were holding their emotions or feelings they put a very strong barrier some sort of kind of a Mm, like a wall between the two of you when it comes to emotions I feel this person um, found very very difficult to be vulnerable to speak about emotions but it feels like they are changing okay so this is someone who it's it's going for some sort of change and that energy here is going to be transformed because they are at the end of the day, they are coming here with explanation, truth. Yeah, that kind of energy is showing up. I don't know how I should organize this, but let's let's do it that way. I feel that both of you are manifesting each other, Libra. Let's see. Let's take a look. You have someone who loves you, and I feel that you love this person as well. We have a six of pentacles. Yes, something ended between the two of you. You might be dealing with Scorpio. Strength, Leo energy. Show me more about the situation, please. Libra and this person. Okay. We have ten of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Hi, precious. You might be dealing with Pisces. Yes, Libra. And Six of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Queen of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. I feel this person uh, in the past with the Six of Pentacles, it, it, it give me this kind of energy of them being distracted, you know, giving to another situation, meaning, for instance, it might be a case that at the time they prioritize the families, relatives, uh, friends, colleagues. Uh, it can be a case that they were focusing on their career, money, um, work-related situation. I feel that things ended between the two of you with the death card, but there is also this energy of transformation, this phoenix, right? We have two doors. And here is the thing, this person here is, uh, <laughs> I'm getting they want to, and very interestingly enough, look, we have this silhouette also wearing a mask, but it feels like they are holding the sword of truth, sword with the rose, and they're going to cut this cord. Therefore, I'm seeing them detaching from uh, previous habits, wanting to be more transparent, walking through this door, the door actually choosing the door that, which are open here. With the strength, this is someone who wants to now appear differently and more composed, more calmer, someone who, um, recognize certain things someone who recognized that maybe at the time they handle situation not particularly uh, nicely but um, they do want to change and I feel this person here is going to be very diplomatic very understanding and this is how they want to kind of uh, approach you we have a ten of pentacles we have the high priestess and we have the sun the sun oh okay a uh, six of cups well it feels like they do want to feel happiness and joy again with you why i'm talking about the person from the past or uh, it might be your ex or it might be someone you know with, who you know and you have a history of this person and you were in connection with them we have a rebirth this is a major energy of the past again and we have six of cups this is also energy of the past this person here feels a very strong soul connection and they do want to try again with the high priestess they're trying to listen to their intuition they are very intuitive i'm getting someone who's actually quite intuitive and with the ten of pentacles they want a stable long-term relationship essentially you have someone here Libra who wants to be given another chance, who doesn't want the situation to be over for good and they're coming with some sort of form of an apology. They are here guided by uh, their intuition and, and I'm seeing this person actually being quite transparent, being gentle with their words and actually telling you that they've always loved you. Mm -hmm. We have a Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, communication. This person, I feel, you know what I feel when I look at this card and this reading so far, is this, this person kind of is aware on that or they are uh, kind of momentarily feel uh, a little bit intimidated because they know that they, they, that they kind of maybe owns you some sort of form of explanation here. You know, in the sense of um, they have to explain they, they have to be vulnerable. They need to really kind of drop this mask and they need to show that they really change. And I see that kind of this, this change is happening in their energy. We have a major card of change. We have this Phoenix, which also represents a card of transition, transformation. But I feel that they are quite scared. <laughs> Let's see this person's feelings towards you, Libra. Let's see. See. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Libra? Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Libra? Lovers, this person loves you. <laughs> yes, unconditional love, loving. You might be dealing with Gemini, Seven of Wands. However, they pushed you away. They pushed you away because they were masking their feelings. This is someone who has a very strong defense mechanism, but they want to, they are changing it. They want to change. This is someone who really wants to change. Be 
because they love you they want to be with you they made a mistake here what do we have feelings we have a seven of pentacles this is someone who is invested in the, the feelings of love never change this is someone who loves you and who've always loved you I, i'm getting that kind of energy and i know that it might sound a bit cliche or you know like this but it really this is what they are showing me 1977 year might be quite important for your situation or 1976 1987 1997 they're giving me those years but you have someone here who loves you who wants to be with you they really feel this soul level of connection with you but they pushed you away however this is someone here who um, I feel this person deep inside knows that it might be quite difficult for you to fully you know just open your arms and immediately kind of welcome this person back to your life therefore this person is aware that they need to kind of be patient in order to gain your trust but they are not afraid to wait or to give you space or to kind of be patient you know but this is someone who doesn't want to give up and the feelings here hasn't changed with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck this is someone who's stuck on you libra they are stuck on you they love you they love you could you please show me how this person sees libra how this person sees libra we have the tower mm -hmm. you might be dealing with scorpio aries energy how this person sees libra yes four of swords and page of wands this person sees you now uh, as someone who is healing it might be a case that there is a no contact situation between the two of you this person caused the tower moment in this connection they are perfectly aware and they they kind of they, this is someone who wants to rebuild this 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 relationship this connection because tower at the end of the day gives us opportunity to rebuild it but um give us opportunity to if we acknowledged at the very beginning that certain mistakes uh, have been made um it gives us opportunity to rebuild this this energy on a more stable foundations because at the very beginning that the, the reason why tower occurred in in a relationship or in someone else's life is because something here at the very beginning was built on a flimsy foundations meaning lies or something you know unsure and it didn't really have a chance in a longer perspective to blossom into something beautiful here this person knows that they caused the tower moment uh, this person feels that you know uh, they caused chaos and they sees you healing from this tower moment this is someone who understands that you might withdraw your energy uh, it might be a case for some of you that uh, for instance you kind of you're having a break from social media for anything that you can kind of see this person's activity it's like you took back your energy and you are healing but with the page of wands they see you as someone who is very energetic you know who is not afraid to take a risk um, this is someone who really wants to talk to you and deeply inside this person is full of hope I'm getting that uh, deeply inside you also would be open for communication with them we have an ace of pentacles this person sees you as a catch they don't want to lose an opportunity with you they see you as someone who's bringing so much to the table who has so much to offer let's see the outcome for the near future could you please show us the outcome for the near future 
with regards to this situation. Libra with this person, please. We have judgment. Mm -hmm. Scorpio energy. We have a three of swords. We have a king of pentacles. We have a queen of wands. Okay. And we have nine of swords. All right. So I'm seeing this person reaching out, Libra, with the judgment. Okay. This is a major energy of the past that wants to resurface itself again. So we have throughout the theme of this person wanting to come back, to make a change, to, uh, to make amends, to, uh, to resurrect the disconnection. And with the judgment, this person will reach out. It might be a case that they will send you a song. <laughs> this is how they will approach you. But um, I'm seeing here very strongly, Libra, that there will be an important communication. You will hold a very, very um, significant um, conversation with this person. And this conversation here will be based on this energy of Three of Swords, that this person caused you emotional pain, emotional sadness, I mean, sadness, disappointment, they broke your heart. And I feel, when I look now at these cards, is that I feel that you will confront this person, and it's very specific, but it might resonate for some of you. You might confront this person saying, you want to come back, you're claiming that you've changed, that things will be different. But um, I still remember what how you treated this connection and how much emotional pain you caused me by handling this connection in a certain way. And I'm seeing here, Libra, that for some of you, you will say, you wanted your cake and eat it too. And you put me in a third party situation. For some of you, this person put you in a third party situation represented by the Queen of Wands. And it can be a case that third party that doesn't have to be another person, another relationship. It can be a case that this person prioritize, again, certain things as family, relatives, colleagues, habits, friends, money, career, uh, work-related situation, whatever the case might be. But for some of you, it might be a case that indeed this person was giving to another situation, meaning another person represented by the Queen of Wands. I feel this person uh, has to prepare themselves that if they reach out, they will have they will have to face the music, right? We have the music here. They have to face the music. They have to explain that this is, this is, this is, I'm getting very um, difficult conversation that has to take place in order to kind of clear the air in a certain extent, this person has to give you an explanation why they treated this connection a certain way. They need to prove themselves that really, have you changed? Really? You really loved me? Oh, you still love me? Well, so why? 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 Why you cause this three of swords energy to our connection? With the nine of swords, as an overall energy for this reading, this is someone who is stressing out. They have a guilty conscience. And actually, I can tell you here one thing. As much as they might be quite, you know, they might be full of hope that uh, they will present, let's say, their case, metaphorically saying, uh, to you, and you will believe them. This person deeply inside feels with the Nine of Swords that they might have lost opportunity here for happiness because this is a pessimistic energy. You're dealing here with someone who is assuming deep inside on, on a subconscious level that they messed things up big time. They are unhappy and they are kind of preparing themselves uh, that you might reject them. Okay. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Moon. 
this person will have to face a very, very difficult conversation, very important conversation, because I feel that you will not hold, you will not, that you won't hold, hold back. Uh, with regards to words that you're going to say if this person approach you it's like you won't be holding holding back you know because we have a nine of swords we have a three of swords that you'll be talking about five of wands i feel that you know you you are emotionally still hurt and yes there might be love between the two of you absolutely but it doesn't change the fact that you might still be frustrated because of how this per person treated this connection and ultimately you. And with the five of wands, you know, this is kind of energy of conflict, tension, argument, but also frustration. And I'm seeing you being, I feel that yes, for some of you might be still quite angry with this person that you know they put you in this third party situation whatever that might represent to your particular 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 situation with the moon there is this kind of energy of you not fully trusting this person this person has to earn their trust but um what they're giving me here is that indeed this person is coming they want to reconcile that this is someone who will claim that they've changed they're working on themselves indeed you know that if they were holding back and if they were kind of wearing this this mask or if they were masking their true feelings and if they were really kind of holding back and finding problem being transparent and and vulnerable with you this person here will kind of claim that they've changed they work on the situation and they are truly sorry but um it doesn't change the fact that they caused the tower moment you are healing from it and as much as you might be open for communication with this person uh, I feel that you will just uh, tell them how you feel and how this person made you feel. And, we, you know, we have also the moon. It's like this person needs to earn your trust. But as an overall outcome here, I'm seeing you having opportunity to kind of let it, everything out, you know, have it out. Right. I think that's the expression to tell how you've been feeling, how frustration, uh, how, how frustrated you are, or how kind of, you know, emotionally, uh, frust it's like that this person made you feel that, that you were angry about the situation because it came from the place of being emotionally hurt. This person inflicted and metaphorically saying a pain into your heart and they need to give you an explanation and they need to provide a good one i don't you you might say you know just because you're claiming that you change how am i supposed to believe that you know you need to because it show it's showing here that you with the moon mm, you have your doubts it's not that you will fully, oh yes, I've changed, and you will believe them in straight away. No, 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 that's not that. And even if you love this person, it doesn't matter. They need to prove themselves that they've changed because I'm getting that at the time, this is someone who wanted, essentially, as this picture here is showing us, wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And we have a queen of wands next to it. So, and at the very beginning, I picked up in that kind of energy, them giving to another situation equally, to both situations. They need to explain themselves. I feel, you know, when it comes to this outcome, I'm seeing a very kind of a very honest conversation that might tackle really kind of uncomfortable truths that this person uh, puts you through. You know, this, this uncomfortable, uh, kind of emotions and you know if they are able to handle it and if they are able to kind of uh, you know uh, acknowledge the fact that yes indeed they understand where you're coming from that this this that you might not trust them and e that they will you know won't give up and they will prove it to you that they 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 they've changed then it's up to them and it might be a case that in a long in a long term 
you might trust this person because I see, you know, I see this this love that it's still present between the two of you, but this person needs to really, really prove themselves because they they really kind of it feels that they really messed things up. But I'm seeing them reaching out indeed to you. Uh, Libra. Libra. I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. Libra, I want to wish you a wonderful, happy new year. Full of happiness, joy, abundance. Uh, just, you know, blessings. I wish you truly all the very best and let's hope that this 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 coming new year will give us so much uh, fulfillment, joy and happiness. Libra, once again thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.